Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here and today we're just going to show you guys how you can start separating your survey into separate pages so that when any respondent might be trying to answer your form and you don't want them to see the next page until they've answered the first page, you can use this method to start separating your survey into separate sections. Okay, so let's just get started. As you can see, we're currently just on the home page right now and we're going to first want to open a form that we can start separating. In this case, we're actually going to create a new project just so that we can start from scratch and give you a better idea of how it'll look like if you were to start from nothing. And then we're going to title this project Customer Feedback for Online Shop. Okay, and create the project. Okay, so as you can see, we already have a question over here, but we're going to add another question for text entry because we're going to want to get their names. What is your name? And then we're going to have this on the top by dragging it up. Change that question order to question two. Name, add new question. And then we're going to delete this for now so that because we don't need that. And then we're going to have a matrix table where we're going to ask them to please review our online store. Easy to navigate. Good response time. Great selection. Or we'll just say selection. And then here we're going to have a scale of bad average and great okay so let's say we want to separate the name page from the rest of the question page because let's say we don't want them to add name or we don't want them to see the review question until they've at least added their name so in order to separate your form into two different pages if you were to hover your mouse in between the questions you can actually add a page break by adding a page break, let's just preview this so you get an idea of how that works. As you can see, the second question doesn't appear until you head over to the next page. So we add in a random name. Page break will then bring us this separate question on a different page. So we can even say average, good, great, sorry, and bad. Then hit submit. Another way to separate your form into sections is through the block. So if you were to add a block, as you can see, this block is separate from this one. Now this doesn't actually separate them into different pages, but it does separate them for into different little square tiles per question, or in this case, whatever you might be adding to this different block. So let's just add a, another question so you guys get a better idea of it. And we're going to go again with multiple choice. What shop did you purchase from clothing food last we're gonna go with tools okay so let's just preview this so you can see how the add block feature works and hit preview on the upper right corner so again if you're just adding some names go with sam and then next Easy to navigate, average, great, and hit next again. So the way that the add block section works is pretty similar, though while it does look different from an editor's perspective, as you can see, it wasn't actually on a different block, it does look pretty much the same from the published version of the form. What I would highly suggest using it for, though, is for when you might want to start categorizing each block into a let's say specific question category. So let's say that we're saying that um, the first block will only be in regards to online store. We can then say all of the questions on the second block will then be about the visitor's specific purchase. So all the questions in this block will then now be about what they purchased, whereas this one will be about their actual feedback for the online shop. 
or the online store in this case. And that's all I really have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better manage any data collection you might be doing. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to Qualtrics and using the different page breaks and ad block features, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.